Hello and welcome to DVXUI. Today on this channel, we are going to do something different. We are going to create this animated 3D website using a unique tool that has a lot of potential. If you see over here, I don't only have these 3D elements, but if I move my cursor, this is interacting. Can you see it? It has this ripple effect. Perfect. So let's see how can we create such designs using a different tool. All right, let's begin. So first of all, we need to go to a website and here in the Google, you're going to type Unicorn Studio. Perfect. Then the first link will take you to the website. This is their website. After that, what you need to do over here is you just need to log in using your Google account. So I'm just going to do it and then I'll come back to you. After you have been logged in, you will be presented over here. You have some examples over here and then some starter templates over here as well. If you would like to use any of them, you can also do it. But for now, let's start something from the very scratch. So if I open it from here, new project can be created and the Unicorn Studio will create a new project. Perfect. Now this is the interface and it is quite similar to Figma. If you see over here, we have all the playing options. Over here, we have this toolbar and here we have this layers panel. And from here, we can control the versions, which is in the paid model. So cross it from here. Now, after that, first of all, we need to design it. Well, to design it, I'm just going to take this background from here and then I will go to this color and make it gradient. The gradient is going to be of conic type and this is going to be of this one, like this, perfect. Then this angle is going to be 90. It is 900 now. We just need to make it 90, perfect. Now after that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to delete this white one and the second one from here, perfect. So that I will get an effect like this and the background is ready. It is that easy. Now after that, I'm going to put an effect over here and that is going to be from here, the effects panel, perfect. Then if I go at the bottom, I will find a lot of effects over here that you can provide. But we are finding a unique one and that is this pattern. Select it and it will be given on your frame like this. Perfect. Now the fill color is going to be white. So make it white. Perfect. Now this weight, this weight is going to be only 4%. This is the width of the line. After that, in the scale, I'm going to write 36. And then the opacity needs to be changed from here. And that is going to be 6%. So it will look something like this. Perfect. Now after that, we need to add one more effect over here on this background and that is going to be diffuse. So let me show you from where you can find it. Go to effects again and here you can search for diffuse. You have it over here. Just click on this and it will be applied. Perfect. Now this amount can be around 40 like this and I think everything else is fine. Now, if you see this diffuse pattern is given over here above this pattern. What I want is this pattern to be over this diffuse. In this way, this pattern will be visible and the background will be given this diffuse effect. Perfect. Now we need our content over here. So for the content, I'm just going to hit this T. This is the text element. And from here, I can put the text inside it. What I else can do is I can select it and write the text from here as well. So select it from here and let me do one thing over here first of all. So let me increase the size so that you can see it properly. All right, select this. And now in the text I can write, get creative with perfect and fix the spelling, perfect. And here you have the text settings. 
first of all let's make it white and then in the font family i'm going to change this one to search font outfit perfect and the font size for this one is going to be 48 and this font style is going to be 200 this is nothing but the font weight we have already seen it in figma now if i increase it like this and align in the center it will look something like this perfect now i can align it in the middle and slightly at the top like this perfect now after that i need secondary text over here just select this and make a copy we have the copy select it and here we can change it and write web gl designs select it and here for the font style it is going to be let's take 600 and in the font size it is going to be 80 pixels increase the size all right then align in the middle it is already done then once again in the middle perfect so this is how the hero text is ready now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put a description and a button over here all right for the description what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select it make a copy put it over here and here i'm going to write let me go to lorem ipsum.io lorem ipsum.io go to the first website from here i can copy the text which is going to be this one and this is a dummy text well not the complete but only this much so just copy that perfect go back and here paste it all right now select this text first of all let's go to font size and make it 18 and this font style is going to be let's say regular and enlarge the width perfect all right it is done now align in the middle and then slightly at the top like this perfect now we can create a button over here so for that we need to take a shape and that is going to be this rectangle so select it and draw over here like this now in the width it is going to be 154 and in the height it is going to be 49 perfect now the color is going to be obviously the white or maybe we can take black for this one just to make a difference and we can take the corner radius which is given over here so increase it like this make it 100% perfect now we can put the text inside it so for that i'm just going to copy this one so hit ctrl d paste it over here and this is going to be let's say over here get started perfect now we can make it smaller like this perfect and then align it over here i can push it over here above this shape perfect so this is how the hero layout is ready now we need to put the 3d elements over here and the one is going to be over here and the one is going to be over here after that we will put that ripple effect well for the shape i'm going to select this shape from here and here i have all these different shapes to choose from if i will go over here i'm going to find this asterisk so select it and it will be presented over here like this but what i want to do is i want to provide some value the custom value in the axis first first of all let's decrease the scale and make it only 20 smaller after that let's change the position as well so align it at the top and then over here perfect and then in the x value i'm going to write 180 then 220 and then 118 and it will be presented like this now if you select this one and play this icon from here then it will start rotating and that is how you can create the 3d shapes let's add one more over here so go over here and then select a shape let's take this one 
and here we need to change few things first of all the scale which is going to be 18 perfect and the axis needs to be changed as well 213 213 and 236 and then in the z axis it is going to be 232 perfect now we just need to align it so align at the bottom over here and in the x value over here perfect then you also have many different settings over here which you can definitely tweak and customize it so suppose if i go over here i have this behavior i can make it reflect in this way it will start reflecting this element let me show you so if i play this one can you see it it has the reflection of these element perfect so in this way two shapes are added now we have an empty space over here how can we fill it we can put a random text over here for that go to lorem ipsum copy this complete go back and take this text and here i'm just going to put the text but before that let's make it 18 and now put the text perfect and now we need to make it smaller in size so width is given over here let's write over here 800 perfect now what we can do is we can select this one and decrease the size like this so that they come together and then over here in the fill i'm just going to provide it this black color perfect and then place it over here like this make it smaller perfect and after that go in the settings font is going to be outfit again where is it so here we need to search it outfit perfect it is done this is how it is looking now we just need to add one more effect over here and that is going to be from here and we need to find this mouse ripple over here so select it and it will be given like this can you see it perfect you can also customize it from here the water ripple effect but if i play it from here you can see this is the design that we have created let me make it smaller so that the pixels would be right perfect all right this is looking much better and definitely it is running on your browser so it is going to take some space and definitely some processing power and that is why some of the time you're going to find that this will glitch and also might give you some problem in designing well this is a new tool they are still developing it and that is a really great thing about that with figma we have been designing the 2d websites now we are entering the world of 3d websites all right this is it for this video if you liked it you can join our telegram group there we have the designers community who can help you master the designing concept so please do it we will meet in the next one